our topic is about explaining the properties of solids, liquids, and gases based on the particle nature of matter. Let's begin. Matter is anything that occupies space and has mass. Note that matter can be in form of solid, liquid, or gas. These forms are often referred to as phases of matter. According to the particular theory of matter, all matters are made up of atoms or molecules that are in constant motion. These particles can move because of the empty spaces between them. Atoms and molecules are held together by attractive forces. According to the particular theory of matter, solids are composed of closely packed particles that are fixed in their position. It means that they are highly attracted to each other leaving very small empty spaces between the particles. Since the particles in solids are packed, the only mode of motion is vibration. The solid state has the lowest energy among all the states of matter. Solids have definite shape and definite volume. They cannot be compressed easily. They slightly expand upon heating. Let us now discuss how these properties are explained by the particle nature of matter. First, solids have definite shape and volume, because the attractive forces holding the particles together is strong enough to hold them fixed in their places. Second, solids cannot be easily compressed, because the spaces between particles are very small. According to the particular theory of matter, liquids are composed of closely packed particles that can move freely. This is because of the empty spaces present between the particles. Attractive forces present in liquids are also relatively weaker compared to that in solids. The particles in the liquid state has higher energy compared to the solid state. Liquids have no definite shapes, but have definite volumes. They cannot be easily compressed, and can slightly expand upon heating. Let us now discuss how these properties are explained by the particle nature of matter. First, liquids have no definite shape, but has definite volume, because the attractive forces holding the particles together is strong enough to hold them together, although, not that strong to hold the particles fixed in their places. Second, liquids cannot be easily compressed, because the spaces between the particles are small. According to the particular theory of matter, gases are composed of closely loose particles that can move freely. This is because of the wide empty spaces present between the particles. Gases have the weakest attractive forces among all states of matter. The gas state has the highest energy compared to the solid state. Gases have no definite shape and volume. Gases can be compressed appreciably, and can greatly expand upon heating. Let us now discuss how these properties are explained by the particle nature of matter. First, gases have no definite shape, nor definite volume, because the attractive forces between the particles are too weak to hold them together. Second, gases can easily be compressed because of the wide empty spaces present between the particles. The different properties of the different states of matter can be explained using matter's particulate nature. This table shows the differences between properties of the states of matter, as explained by the particle nature of matter. This is the end of the presentation. Thank you.